<laughs> when you're talking about people singing back to you, what do you remember from the Reading Festival in 2011? Because that performance was amazing. It changed his life. Oh, I, I were watched, you there? No, I wasn't there, but I watched it on <laughs> oh, okay. YouTube all the time. All right, on. <laughs> Dude, that was that was a dream come true. That was I remember. I re- <laughs> it's funny. I remember thinking as I was playing, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Uh, and then also thinking like, oh my god, um, Brian May's coming up soon. That's right. And I better f-ing nail it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I will remember that for the rest <laughs> yep. of my life. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was that was crazy, man. I still can't believe I mean, that's that feels like a dream, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only reason that I know it's not is because I see footage. I can see footage of it. Yeah. You can watch with Dan. Yeah. Once a week. If you want to watch <laughs> the other one day, I'm down. I've seen it probably yeah. twenty times. Oh man. That's it, awesome. It was such a good performance. It's uh, it was a I, there was a lot there's a lot to unpack about that time, in in the band right and and the the mindset behind it because, we had had bad experiences at festivals uh at at Reading at Download and, and things of that nature like there was a very combative, uh feeling, uh and then also too if you know you really know all the ins and outs of the band like at that point too like we were pretty sure that the drummer. That that's on that 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 show that recording that was was stealing from us and kind of us over and that was really crazy like there was a real weird thing happening, um, but we knew that this was an important show we weren't gonna let him take that from us, uh, so there's there's so much. Well, do you let happening. him know that you know before you go on stage? <sighs> no, you can't. Well, I this is a very weird, touchy conversation to have. I. That that whole thing really broke my heart because I, he was a really good friend. I I thought he was a really good friend. I I had a walk like a walk and talk with him like, re, like around that time like hey listen if there's anything going on you should you could t- you might not be able to tell anybody you could tell me like please like you know like feel like you can tell me anything blah 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 and he was like yeah no that's cool man and then like two weeks later like we caught him. Oh, and was he him. with you guys from the beginning? No 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 this was like uh, this was somebody else. That came in, but he would. I, I I feel in my heart that he would have been, uh, he would have been the the drummer for my camp. I think I think all of that like that stuff like really played a role in, in I think having the band come to a close. But I think it's it was everything was for the best. I I can't even imagine the whole situation because even bringing any new member into any band, right? Whether the band's been around for a few weeks or years, that's a hard situation. Yeah, I mean musically it's hard, business it's hard. There's new personalities that now can clash with the group. Yeah, it's it's a shame. Like, it's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, a lot. it's a shame, man. It's a shame. It's one. I I. It's one of those things that I still can't make sense of in my head. All these years later, it it's it was it really was a a real painful one. It was really really fucked up. Yeah, I feel your pain. Yeah, um, you know, here's the thing. Like, you know, when you when you when you are in a band situation with somebody, you're you're you know you tour with somebody, you. you you live life together. You live in such close quarters. You become really close, yeah. you know, and, and you think of them as family. You and have to. You have to, yeah. And then when that doesn't work out, like I remember, you know, recently I, I had a relationship with a, a, a musician that like I was like, oh, man, like, you know, like we're we're like family you know, kind of thing. And, and then found out later on that it, the friendship was didn't really mean much to that person. And that's like that that hurts so bad, you know, but that's it's life. You know what I mean? 